Hello learner, greetings of the day. Let's continue with our program to display window and the line segment rendering within the display window. We have already completed the first part of it that is defining weaving parameters within init function. Let's move Let's move on to the next uh, part of the program that is the next user defined function and I can say that it is a very important uh, uh, function user defined function where we exactly define what has to be displayed inside the display window. So the line that has to appear now that has to be rendered within the display window should be now defined here. And we can see here some set of OpenGL function used to display the line segment. And the very first OpenGL function is GL clear. So this GL clear is a function where it is used to, uh, you can say, to clear the buffer, color buffer. So as I already said, I have a buffer defined called frame buffer. Inside that buffer, uh, we have actually segregated into two parts. So two categories. One is the pixel information we have and you can call that as the X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate information. And the other part of that is the color buffer where only color information is stored. It may be red pixel, green pixel, blue, blue pixel. So this color information only is stored inside this color buffer. And in order to initialize this, I mean in order to we have already done the initialization part of that this initializing of color buffer should be done inside the main so now using this GL clear function you are refreshing this color if at all you have the old color stored here old color information the color information corresponding to previous primitives old primitives that was already displayed so if at all you want to display now the new primitives new color information old one should be erased so that refreshing done is done here through gl clear function and remember the symbolic constant this parameter gl color buffer bit should be in caps which is passed as a parameter so this is very important this function call so now once this is done, now you are ready for defining the line, drawing the line. So in order to draw a line, first remember you have to set the color, drawing color. So it is something like you choose a color pen before you start drawing the line. So which color you want to choose, it is left to you. So GL color is a function wherein you can see 3F it indicates the three primary colors red green and blue and F indicates the floating point values remember everywhere we are using the floating point values so GL color 3F is the function used to define the color and now you can see the three parameters you should pass the three parameters for GL color 3F which indicates red green blue and you can see here the red color is zero what it indicates it indicates there is no red color component so so I am choosing here blue sorry green and blue component the value ranges from 0 to 1. So here the value of green is 0 0.4 color uh, blue color value is 0 0.2 and you can see it is a mixture of green and blue and this is the color that I am setting to draw the line. So remember I have not yet started drawing the line so the color only I have chosen. So once it is done next we are ready to draw the line and the first function in order to draw the line is gl begin. So begin is a function which is used to uh, start the list of vertices so in order to draw a line i require two vertices right the two end points so which are those two end points so i let me call this the first end point as vertex one the second end point the other end point as vertex two so in order to draw the line first you should begin the list of vertices so here remember minimum two vertices is must in order to draw the line so single line 
so next what is the symbolic constant that you must pass it is gl underscore lines and this cannot be changed this is fixed gl underscore lines indicate that the primitive the shape that you're going to draw is a line and remember the moment you define this you must pass the two vertices as a next uh, part of the program continuation is the next two vertices you must define compulsory for line and remember every function should end with a semicolon okay next you pass gl next you call the function gl vertex so remember this is the function which is used to draw the vertex so the first vertex you are going to draw and that is gl vertex 2i what is this 2i 2i indicates 2d vertex you are going to draw so the parameters that you are going to pass is only two one is the first one is x coordinate the second one is y coordinate so x coordinate and y coordinate you must pass as parameter when you pass when you plot a 2d vertex and i indicates the integer value that you are passing 180 is integer value 15 is integer value so the coordinate that you're choosing here 180 and 15 when you're choosing you should be very careful remember in my previous function in my previous video i have told about the weaving parameter the weaving rectangular that you have set using glu ortho 2d function the boundary that you have set there lrbt so based on that boundary you should set here you should pass the parameter x coordinate and y coordinate this value should be less than or equal to your lrbt values so x coordinate is 180 y coordinate is 15 and the first vertex i have plotted 180 comma 15 done now you are ready to plot the second vertex again you call the function gl vertex 2i so again the second x coordinate and the y coordinate you are ready to plot so 10 comma 145 is the second vertex that you're going to plot so you're done with the two end points now you are ready to draw the line so your work is done so end the list of vertices by calling the function gl end so whenever there is a begin there must be an end so remember to call the function gl end so now you are ready to draw a single line that is one line with the two endpoints v1 and v2 done and remember whenever you end the function this whenever after you end this do not forget to call the last function here that is gl flush so what is that your x coordinate and y coordinate corresponding to your line that is vertex 1 and vertex 2 everything that you have defined everything that you have drawn is now store is stored inside the buffer which is that buffer color buffer or you can call it as inside frame buffer all the information is stored now i don't want my pixels to be stored inside the buffer i want my pixels to be drawn on my display window onto the screen it should be drawn so what is a function that is used to move the pixels from the frame buffer to the display window it is this gl flush so without this function call you will not get any line drawn on the display window in order to draw the line or in order to force the pixels or move the pixels onto the display window gl flush is the function used so remember this is actually uh, your uh, function used to uh, draw the line we'll move on to the next part of the program i have now the main function actually your execution begins from the main so we had to start from the main function but then i i started from the beginning from the top that is with the user defined function so remember now i have defined my weaving part weaving function that is init function at the beginning next i moved on to the line function where i defined the color i cleared my color buffer and also i have set all the vertices so that is that part is done now i'm in the main so you're going to start with this actually main so the parameters that are passing to the main are the command line arguments that is argument count and the list of arguments remember this and the very first function you're going to start in the main is glut in it as i already said this is the res this is responsible for developing interaction between your display window and the graphics library so what is the graphics library we are using here it is glut dot h so graphics library is glut so basically you develop an interaction between the library and the window so you pass the command line arguments here program name is the argument so argument list here you and then the argument count so initialization is done now the next function is glut init display mode as i already said you're supposed to initialize the buffer so what buffer you're uh, initializing one is the 
you are uh, that entire buffer you are segregating into two parts one is the color buffer the second part the first part is the pixel information where you stored x coordinate x y coordinate and z coordinate so you call that as a single buffer so because i am displaying a still graphics a simple line there is no animation as such right if at all you have animation you have to change the buffer type from single to double okay so hi here i am just displaying a still graphics so i am using the buffer type as single and then the color buffer is rgb so you just initialize these two buffer using the function glut init display mode next the three function calls that you are making here is important that is to draw the display window first and foremost you have to define the window position on the screen you can start drawing the window position from the top left if it is from the top left the window position should be 0 comma 0 top left of your screen indicates 0 comma 0 and if you don't want to draw your display window from top left you can change to your desired position like here we have defined it as 50 comma 100 so anywhere somewhere on the screen somewhere in the middle or somewhere on the screen your window will be drawn display window will be drawn next you have the window size width and height you are passing so width of your display window if it is 400 height of the display window will be 300 again this is left to you you can have your desired window size remember after defining the position and size you have to call the function create window which will actually draw the display window on the screen and remember to specify a title to your display window the title is an example opengl program and this within the quotes you are supposed to define this is left to you any title you can give so after defining these three window related functions opengl functions next you are now calling the user defined function init the very first function call is init and here this init definition we have already seen in my previous window you should you go through that video again if you want init wherein you are defining the weaving parameters projection you are setting you are clearing the background color and then uh, after that you are defining a weaving rectangle using glu ortho 2d function where left right bottom top parameters are set your boundary will be set using this init function so once that is done the next important function that you are calling is line segment so this is also defined here uh, just in my previous uh, um, uh, slide i have defined how to draw a line segment by passing the vertices as a list of vertices that is x coordinate y coordinate so how to initialize the uh, sorry how to refresh your buffer using gl clear function so how to finally move the pixels from the buffer to the display window also i have explained so you can go through that so next how to call this line segment this should be passed as a parameter through glut display function only so glut display function is actually a callback function display function which is very important which has to be called inside the main why it is very important because in order to continuously draw the line segment in order to have this line segment drawn on the display window in order for the user to see this display window continuously on the screen this display function is responsible this will call this line segment function continuously okay it is not like once you draw the line segment and then that line will disappear no that line that pixel should be drawn continuously on the window in order to have that continuous view on the window this display function is responsible this will continuously call this line segment function in order to have in order to make this line stay on the display window okay so you call this display function as a callback function and then you have finally glut main loop and as i already said this is uh, responsible for the event processing loop so the moment you call this function your main will be called this function will be called and your function will enter into a loop loop is nothing but continuously all these functions will be called until user interacts with the window through the mouse click or keyboard any pressing of key so until user performs an event this function will be called continuously okay so it is an event processing loop so everything will be displayed on your display window until user stops it explicitly so this is how your main will be defined remember all these functions that is called inside the main this is common for all your opengl programs all these functions right from glut in it till the glut main loop it's compulsory for compulsory to be called for all the opengl programs so i hope all these are clear 
the complete structure of the open gl program you need to go through it it's very important for you to go through all these functions in order to write your own open gl program you can now just see the sample output here so here uh, the sample output shows you two lines drawn but actually i have drawn only one line okay so uh, just uh, skip this line okay just see this line displayed assume that only one line is displayed on the screen and you have a title see here this is a sample output of the display window my title that i gave here was a sample program or something like that this title just says that it is gl underscore lines right so this title is different okay don't get confused the title of the display window will appear the, as the same that you have given here here within given there uh, within the glut create window open gl function the same title will appear and you can see a line will be displayed on the screen and that line coordinates will be same as the vertices that you have passed when you call gl vertex to f uh, function okay so the same vertices as per that vertices the line will be drawn so this is a single line drawn suppose if you want to draw like this the multiple lines there so what are you supposed to do there multiple gl vertex function should be called so two gl vertex function inside gl begin will draw one line again if you continue continue to call gl vertex function by passing separate list of x coordinate and y coordinate y coordinate suppose again two more gl vertex function i am going to call there within gl begin so again you don't have to call gl begin the same gl begin the same gl begin again inside that two more vertices if you are defining G, two more gl vertex function if you are calling with the different uh, x coordinate and y coordinate the next line will appear again if you pass two more gl vertex uh, call if you call two more gl vertex functions by passing the different x coordinates and y coordinates one more line will be drawn so within a single gl begin and gl end you can pass any number of x coordinates y coordinates that is you can call any number of gl vertex uh, functions okay so two gl vertex functions will draw one line again two more gl vertex functions will draw the next line so likewise you can continue drawing multiple lines on the screen i hope this is clear